West African leaders may lift painful economic sanctions against Mali once an interim president is inaugurated on Friday, September 25, in the wake of the August 18 military coup. According to the regional bloc's envoy, while praising the junta's leadership, there are enough signs that the body may lift the sanction. The comments suggest the 15-nation economic community of West African states ECOWAS could accept the candidates picked this week to lead the transition of power, although they do not have the fully civilian background the bloc had demanded. The easing of sanctions would be a relief for Mali, whose imports have slumped 30% since its neighbors closed borders and halted financial flows after the deposing of President Ibrahim Keita. We're now joined by Mr. T. Diani Togola, the CEO of Tuwindi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Do you think ECOWAS will lift the ban on Mali, having uh, appointed uh, a transition um, coordinator, even though it's a former military personnel? Um, from, the last, uh, from the last element that we've observed, I think normally... ECOWAS will probably um, probably leave all the, the, the sanctions against Mali, but all this will depend more, more on the nomination of the prime minister. But uh, we have a very good uh, signal from, from the visit of uh, Mr. Goodluck Jonathan, who will actually take place, uh, take, take, um, take, I mean, who will be part of the, the 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 ceremony of uh, investiture of mr you know the new president mr bandao okay, uh, i mean you referred to the um echoes and boy led by good luck jonathan he might be in agreement with the decision but do you see other heads of states uh, and government agreeing yeah, I think they will agree. If uh, but everything will depend on because this is the first step. The first step was to have a civilian, uh, a civilian person as the head of the, the transition. And of course, now we have uh, someone who actually is a, a former mil military, but uh, his uh, statue now is support is something like a civilian. So this is already a first step. Now um, the other president will probably accept um, if we have a, a prime minister, uh, a civilian prime minister. So everything will depend on the, the, the position of, of the prime minister. And from the perspective that we have here, uh, we already have a, 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 a former military has, um, has the president of the transition, and we have also a vice president, which, which is a, a, a military. Normally, we will uh, have a prime minister who will be actually um, uh, a civilian. So based on that, we can, the different president will probably, I mean, they even, they have two uh, to, to leave all the, all the ban. Okay, ahead of the inauguration uh, tomorrow, what is the, you know, the sentiment on the streets? Do you think uh, the military junta has the support of the people now, including the opposition? Well, um, if you take the, the general uh, feeling of the situation of the people, they they do agree with the, the 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 new president of the transition because this the the personality that they have they have, they have nominated is someone who actually have the respect of the population, also the respect of the military. So he is someone that is more consensual. Than, than than political actors and uh, the the general you know the general opinion also of the population is someone who will be m more military than than civilian so uh, for now they, they are more supportive from from the, the the population but if we look from the political uh, actors side this sentiment is a little bit uh, mitigated because some part of the m5 member disagree with with the choice of of the of the new president of the transition, but M5 himself is actually divided now in different uh, different uh, group. So, uh, of course, they globally and generally they, they have the support of the population. Right, before we let you go, we understand there are uh, two suits, uh, two groups rather, have filed suits against ECOWAS um, uh, interference, as they say it. What is the implication now? Do you see that suit being withdrawn, or there will be a progression? 
Sorry, can you repeat? I didn't get, I'm um, sorry, I didn't get the question. Okay, I'm asking you about the suit that has been filed against ECOWAS. We know that two groups have done that. I'm asking the implication uh, with the, the compliance of the junta uh, to some of the terms that ECOWAS has given. Do you see that suit being withdrawn? Well, ECO, as I, I was saying, uh, ECOWAS will, I mean, ECOWAS will accept of course, we'll accept the, 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 what is, what is uh, happening now because of uh, the, 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 the behavior of, of the gentle key extor. And, and also the different member who, you know, who actually um, are, you know, are against the, the, the position will also move because Mali actually stay very long in this situation and nobody wants to stay in, 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 the, in, the, in the blockage at, uh, at all. All right, Mr. Tidiani Togola, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you, Ola.